So in this video, I want to do a little thought experiment, uh, particularly for um, the non physics people watching these videos uh, who are coming at this purely from a mathematical point of view. And we're going to consider a ball being dropped from rest. It hits the floor with a speed of 16 meters per second before rebounding up at a speed of 12 meters per second. Is momentum conserved? Now, when we've looked at the conservation of linear momentum, we've considered two particles colliding. And that's been quite easy to visualize because you've had a particle that has a mass of five kilos and a mass, uh, another particle that has a mass of six kilos. They collide and we can imagine them shooting off in different directions uh, at different speeds. Okay, we can visualize that. In this situation, it doesn't appear like we have two particles involved. We've got the ball dropping to the ground, it bounces upwards. So what's the other particle? Well, the other particle is the Earth. Okay, so what's happening is that the ball is dropping towards the ground. Okay, so that's falling towards the ground, um, falling towards the Earth, to the centre of the Earth, in fact. And the Earth is also then travelling upwards to meet the ball. Now, the thing about this is that in our conservation momentum uh, formula, where we've got the mass times the velocity uh, of the first particle, plus the mass times the velocity of the second particle, and then that's the before, and then we've got the after uh, part as well. The problem is that the mass of the Earth is so large, um, so it's uh, 5.972 times 10 to the 24 kilos uh, against a tennis ball, for example. Um, so the masses are so different in scale that your um, conservation of linear momentum uh, equation uh, becomes fairly redundant. Okay, the the uh, sizes that you're working with it doesn't really make sense to use that calculation. Um, but yes. Conservation, there is the conservation of moment, linear momentum um, when we are looking at these two particles in this scenario. It can be just kind of a little bit difficult to kind of get your head around um, where, that there, where there are these two particles in the system that we are considering. Okay? Um, so, don't worry, we're not going to be doing any calculations with um, the mass of the Earth in them. Um, but just to kind of like be clear, the mass of the Earth is so large, the uh, velocity of the Earth so small relative to the ball uh, that it is hard to spot um, how this works within the equation that we work with.